वेलकम एवरी वन एज यू नो लॉकडाउन इज गोइंग ऑन एवरी इंस्टीट्यूशन हैज स्टॉप फंक्शनिंग बट वी शुड नॉट स्टॉप द चेन ऑफ आवर स्टडी दैट्स वाई कीपिंग दिस फैक्ट इन माई माइंड आई एम अपलोडिंग सम वीडियो लेक्चर विच विल कंसिस्टेड कंसिस्टेड ऑफ क्लास इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ सिलेबस prescribed by neb in physics the first topic that i am going to cover today in this video lecture is work power and energy the reason behind choosing this topic is uh, the it, it, its usefulness in other previous chapters means if i do this chapter first then previous chapters newton's as like newton's law factors will be revised that's why i have chosen this this chapter this chapter is given in syllabus of class 11 and uh, name of the chapter is work power and energy everything cannot be discussed in this video lecture so today we will talk about work what is this work as we know in everyday language any kind of mental and physical activity is termed as work but in case of physics this word has a very specific meaning this is a method to provide energy to the body means if we do work on the body either we will transfer energy to the body or we will take out energy from the body we have a force actually there are many ways to trans, uh, give energy to the body for example if we heat give heat to the body more thermal energy of the body will increase similarly we can provide energy by throwing light on the body but in case of work we provide energy with help of force it means for we can define work as a method to transfer energy to the body with help of force here transfer means we can either add energy to the body or we can take away energy from the body for example if you push the body which is kept at rest the body will move in direction of the applied force and body will acquire energy body is said to be energetic similarly if you try to stop the body which is moving by applying force in opposite direction so you are taking out energy from the body this work it means for work to be done there must be presence of force and with presence of force there must be displacement of of point of application of the force point of application of the force as you know physics is exact science so in physics we try to express everything in terms of numbers so if i tell you work in terms of numbers the work is defined as force into 
displacement but remember this force must be in direction of in direction of displacement this is the definition that we have studied in our junior classes but here we are not going to change this definition but we will redefine it as a work is equal to vector f dot d for example suppose this body is acted upon by a force f and due to this application of force the body has displaced through d this dotted dotted shape represents the movement of body this is the second position of the body this is d force is a vector displacement is a vector and this so we take vector product of two quantity two physical quantity force and displacement as you know this is also called sorry this is a scalar product of two vectors force and displacement as you know a scalar product of two vectors always give a scalar quantity so what is the scalar quantity if i apply the definition of a scalar product so w can be written as as d cos theta where theta is angle between the force and displacement vector now listen this can also be written as same can also be written as f cos theta into d means this is the component of component of force f in direction of displacement of the body which is same as we have studied in our class, junior classes force into displacement means if a force is at some angle with displacement that time we take the only that component of the force which is along the displacement we do not have to do anything with perpendicular component of the force now listen my dear student same formula can also be written as f into d cos theta means force into component of this displacement along force f suppose this is displacement d so we take component of this displacement along force f to find component as we know we draw perpendicular to the direction of force to the line of force and this gives d cos theta this will become d cos theta as this is d so this can also be written as either we can use this or this this can also be written as f into component of displacement along force now one thing that is worth noting here definition of force or formula for force uh, sorry formula for work given here is for that kind of work which is uh, done by constant force here i have assumed that force is constant both in magnitude and direction force is constant throughout the displacement means there is no change in direction there is no change in magnitude of the force in that case only we can use this formula directly although formula for variable force is also same but that time we can't apply it directly in this form we can't apply f d cos theta only we have to change it up little bit 
But before doing work, non like variable codes, we have to look at the some examples based upon this formula. W is equal to F B cos theta. Remember once again, work is a vector product of force and displacement, and this again can be written as F D cos theta, and this same can be written as F cos theta into B. F cos theta is component of force F. In direction of displacement, or we can write F into D cos theta, or force into direction of displacement in, in direction of force. So, sorry, component of displacement in direction of force. I think is it very clear for you? Now I am moving ahead to do some problem based upon this formula. So move to next question. This question is only a little bit. Complex. Actually, at the starting, uh, students feel difficulty in this question. So listen here. Suppose a body is displaced, displaced from point A two three to point. D six four by applying force F is equal to suppose two I plus three J Newton. This is also in meter. Meter, meter, meter. We have to find the work. If I depict this problem in diagram, and this is initially body is at this point A, so this will be the position vector, and due to application of force, this body arrives at B. This is. Six four coordinates are given in meter. This is two three. So this will be the displacement. This will be the displacement. So displacement vector AB is equal to D can be written as OB vector minus OA vector from triangle of vector addition AB. O A plus A B is equal to O B. Sum of two sides taken in an order is equal to third side taken in opposite order. This is triangle law of vector addition. One more time, vector triangle law of vector addition says if we take vector sum of two sides taken in an order, this is anti-clockwise order. Then third side, third side taken in opposite order. This is third side taken in opposite order. Represent the result. Then it means O A vector plus A B vector is equal to O B vector. So A B is equal to O B minus O A. And so displacement vector can be written as O B. So O B is six I. Writing this in vector form, six I plus four J. Minus two i plus three. Yeah. This is equal to six minus two, four i minus j. Now we know w is equal to vector f dot d. Plus j. Sorry, sorry. So my minus plus j. F dot d. So f is given here. 2i plus 3j dot 4i plus j. I hope you know this already. How to multiply 428 plus 313 is equal to 11 joule newton meter, which is also called joule. Now we move to third problem. And third problem is what? 
and last example based upon this is suppose this figure is given pulley this is mass m this has mass 2m this has mass 2m and we have to compute the force by tension on block m and 2m compute sorry compute work done by tension on block of mass m mass m in one second if system is released ALEASTD released from rest now to calculate the work done by tension on the block of mass M of mass M in one second if system is released means this system is at rest initial velocity of M is 0 initial velocity of 2M is 0 and we have to calculate the work done by tension produced in the string in one second in one second actually this problem requires the skill to calculate tension first means you have to apply you must know Newton's laws you have to apply Newton's law in this body as well as in this body to calculate the tension. To calculate the tension. Listen here. First of all, I am going to apply free body diagram on this block. M. In this block, what are the forces acting on this block? First, weight Mg directly downward. And another is tension P in upward direction. Suppose this is accelerated upward as this is a matter of common sense. This will move, this, is, this block is heavy. So this will move up, this will move down. But there will be no any fault if I suppose this block is moving down, this block is moving up. Actually our answer value of acceleration will come short negative. But there will be no fault. So listen here. Suppose the block is moving up with acceleration A. As it is moving up with acceleration A. So it will move down with acceleration A. Applying Newton's law on this block. We can write T minus mg is equal to m times of A. Equation first. For second block. 2m. So this is gravitational force 2mg, Ten tension is upward and it is moving downward. So we have to write 2mg minus T is equal to 2m times of A, mass times of acceleration. Here mass is 2m. This is equation second. After finding the value of T, as I am doing here, this t, this t is cancelled, adding equation first and two, uh, first and second, this is mg, this is equal to 3ma, so value of a comes out g by 3, and value of a is g by 3, so value of p, writing here, value of p is equal to Value of T is equal to MA plus MG. MA plus MG is equal to MA is G by 3 plus MG. So it becomes 
फोर एम जी डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री टेंशन इन दिंग इज फोर एम जी डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट वाटर बट बिफोर सॉरी फॉर डूइंग टू कैलकुलेट वाटर वी हैव टू फाइंड द डिस्प्लेसमेंट फर्स्ट डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ दिस ब्लॉक इन वन सेकेंड एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वर्क डन बाई टेंशन इन वन सेकेंड सो इन वन सेकेंड फर्स्ट वी हैव टू फाइंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द ब्लॉक्स एज आई से सिस्टम इज इज रिलीज फ्रॉम रेस्ट इनिशियल वेलोसिटी इज जीरो सो शुड आई रेज दिस सो लिशन दे आर वेरी स्टैंडर्ड प्रॉब्लम फॉर फॉर एनी बी सिलेबस इसीलिए यार we have found acceleration tension now we have to find displacement displacement is equal to we know s is equal to ut plus half at square this is the displacement initial velocity is zero as it is given zero into one plus half acceleration with which the block was moving is g by three g by three into one square so net result is g by six and therefore work done by tension force is equal to p into s into cos 0 as both are in same direction cos 0 tension is 4 mg by 3 s is g by 6 so result is 2 to ja 4 to 3 ja 6 2 by 9 एम जी स्क्वायर टू बाय नाइन एम जी स्क्वायर एवरीथिंग इज ओके दिस इज द वर्क डन ऑन ब्लॉक ऑफ मास एम बाय द टेंसाइल फोर्स यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वर्क डन यू टेक दिस एज अ होमवर्क यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द वर्क डन बाय टेंसाइल फोर्स ऑन द ब्लॉक ऑफ मास टू एम This is my dear student. This problem was very conceptual, as it revised the whole previous chapters. We have applied here Newton's law, Newton's second law. We have applied the equation of motion here. That's why I told you the reason we are choosing this work power and energy. Now move ahead. This was the last question. Now we are going to discuss how to calculate work. When the force is variable, when the force is variable, means for example, suppose this is a when we move a body upward from surface of the earth. In this case, force of gravitation between body and the earth vary point to point because we know. Force of gravitation is inversely proportional to r square. As distance between the center of the body varies, so value of force of gravitation will vary. Another example of variable force is suppose this is a spring mass system. If we if you move this block either This one or this one, force will vary with elongation. As the elongation means length change, length of the spring change, the force value of force will also change. You can feel it by doing this. Now listen. Now we are going to this, uh, discuss this kind of work done by this kind of forces. Oh, what to do? Similarly, we can do as an example. Suppose these two are the charges. If we change the distance between them, the force will vary as in words of R square, because from Clock's law we know that force between two charges, two point charges, F. Is given by Q1, Q2 by R square. K Q1, Q2 by R square. Where K is 
1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. So in this session, we are going to discuss the work done by work done by variable forces. Forces. Listen. Now listen. Work done by variable force. Suppose the force is some function of position vector r. Function of position r of the body. This force depends upon the position. In that case, first of all, as force depends upon position, the as position change, force, the value of magnitude of force, direction of force both may change. Or magnitude will change, direction will, may remain same. For example, if I uh, consider the gravitational force, the direction always remains same. It is always directly downward, but magnitude changes with uh, distance between the body and center of the earth. But here I am considering that both magnitude and direction of the force is changing and F depends upon the position R of the body. In this case, as force is changing, initial position of the body is suppose R1 and it is taken to new position R2. R2. In this case, first of all what we have to do, we have to find the infinitesimally small work dw for very small displacement displacement r to dr suppose body is displaced at this point force on the body is fr and it is displaced by infinitesimally small displacement dr this is dr so work done for this, for this displacement, we can consider this force as a constant, as dr is very small. It is, it is smaller than even your imagination. imagination sorry. So, dw can be written as f dot dr. By expressing f in terms of r, we can write it f dr cos theta. And so, to calculate Total work done, we integrate this dw between the proper limits. F dr cos theta between r1 and r2. You will get this only, you will get it clearly only when I do some example based upon this. For example, consider the case of a spring mass system. Case of a spring mass system. Listen. Consider the case of a spring mass system. Suppose one end of the spring is fixed and uh, this is the natural length of a spring. In this case, a spring exert no force on the block. The only two force acting on the block are normal reaction and weight and these two balance each other as there is no motion upward or downward so this is equal to this weight now suppose we stress this spring by a length x by a length l sorry by a length l We have to calculate the work done in stretching this force. But remember this block, as we have moved from this position to this position, there was no acceleration in the block. We have moved it without acceleration. So in order to calculate, as we know, if we produce or elongation x in the spring, the force exerted by the spring is k times of x, where k is a spring constant. I hope you have read this. This is Hooke's law. Or if you have not read this, keep it in mind. If you 
change the original length of the spring, the spring will develop a restoring force whose magnitude is k times of x. x is elongations from natural length. Suppose this is this is, we have we have changed the elongation by L, but uh, before calculating the work done in this displacement, we have to calculate work done in a small displacement dx. For that, suppose in course of motion, when we, we are at a distance of x, this point, at a distance of x, x, the force by the spring was k times of x and it was opposite of elongation. It was opposite of if you stretch like this a spring will try to restore its position it will exert force in this direction. As this block is not accelerated so we must have applied same force in opposite direction. A spring is applying force in this direction this is force by a spring force by a spring this is force by a spring and this is force by external force by external agent now we say when we are at x the force developed by the spring was k x and we have to apply same amount of force in order to Keep this body move with constant velocity. Because I have already said there is no acceleration. We can produce acceleration. That case will be discussed later. Listen here. So force by external agent is E means external agent is Kx. So a small work done when we displace this block by this dx is dw is equal to f e dx is equal to kx dx dw kx dx total work done can be obtained by method of calculus calculus by integrating dw between suitable limits this is kx dx value of x in the block was at this point value of x was 0. When the block, block is at this point, the value of x is L. So we integrate it between 0 and L. And so total work done by external agent is equal to k x square by 2. k integration of x is x square by 2. Putting their limits, this became, sorry, k L square by 2. This is the work done by external agent. Same amount of work will be done, but the value will be in negative because a spring applies force in this direction, displacement is in this direction, angle between force and applied by a spring and displacement is 180. So same amount of work will be done by the spring, but it will be negative. This was the one example of force done by work, sorry, work done by variable. Take another example. Some example based on variable force. Suppose a force F is equal to three x I x on a body and change its position its position sorry from x is equal to 1 to x is equal to Find work done by force. Work done by force. 
so we will apply the method as we have discussed earlier first of all we have to calculate a small work done dw the dw as the force is along x direction force change with x so we will take x as the variable so in displacing the body from by dx the work done will be equal to f dot dx means uh, suppose the initial position of the body was at x x and it is changed to new position is x plus dx x plus dx that is this is dx this is this is x this is x plus dx so both are in same direction so this is f dx cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so this is equal to 3x dx now to calculate total work done the so w can be written as integral of dw and this is 3x dx from 1 to uh, value of x change from 1 to uh, when it comes out w is equal to 3x square by 2 1 to 5 3 25 by 2 minus 1 by 2 and it comes out 3 24 by 2 12 and this is 36 this is in Newton this is in this is in meter everything is okay no so my dear students in next video we will discuss about work in Arctic theorem and we will do some problems numerical problems that has been asked in an NEV examination if you like this video so if you found this video useful you can please like share and subscribe my channel and uh, if you have if you have any problem regarding this chapter or any other other, other topics of physics you can comment below i will try to remove your difficulties thank you have a good day